Pastor Jenkins has been a pastor to me for over two decades, and I've got to see him up close. And he is the same person on the stage, and he's the same person in private, and he's a person that's responsive. I have been amazed that I will give him a phone call or reach out, and within minutes, he's responding to me. He's one of the most responsive leaders I've ever met. And he doesn't just do that for me. He does that for every person uh, that he, he leads, every person that he covers. I don't know how one person can be that connected to so many people and stay in touch. So I love that about him. I love that he is a model of financial integrity. I think that's one of the things that we needed as we as a movement are trying to rebuild trust. We have to have a person that just embodies financial integrity. And the church that he leads for over 30 years has been a model of stewardship. In fact, he's known around the country as a church that pays for projects in cash, is debt free, um, has uh, impeccable uh, reputation in the financial community in his, in his area of a church that manages money at the highest standards. And that's, that's one of the things we need. Uh, the third thing is his uh, collaborative uh, nature. Pastor Jenkins is able to bring people together from diverse backgrounds, and he's able to be a bridge builder. You know, a lot of people are activists, but we don't need an activist. We need somebody who knows how to bridge cultures together, bridge leaders together, and let the best ideas come to the surface. And I think I say the last thing, he's a man of integrity, so his word, is to be trusted. If he says he's gonna do something, he does it. And I find those to be the qualities that make a leader uh, completely trustworthy.